Yeah, and Marco Silva makes makes two changes. When you look at that that back line, Robinson, Bassi, Tosin, and Castagna, Fulham have only conceded 15 goals at home. Only Liverpool, City, and Arsenal have conceded fewer. And with this Tottenham team having scored in every game under Ange Postecoglou and in 39 straight Premier League games, they're going to have their work cut out for them today. The two changes come on the right side of the formation. Paulinho comes in for Reed. William comes in for Wilson. But I must say, Awobi's had a fine season. Two goals in his last three games. And Muniz, he's the man in form. Six goal involvements in his last six games. Take a look at Tottenham. Talk us through it, Tim. Well, just one enforced change for Ant Postacoglu. Dragosheen comes in for Mickey Van de Ven, who doesn't pass fit for the game. You see the wingbacks here, Udogi and Pedro Porro. They will roll inside, oftentimes ahead of the double six, Popsar and Ibasuma. Up front, 30 goals combined between that front four. Uh, Kulisevsky, Madison, Johnson, Son. Son has a really good balance, 14 goals, 8 assists. And Madison, I must say, in his first season with the club, has found a real home in that number 10 role. Well, Fulham back on home soil. This is a place where they have had lots of joy already this season as we get this game underway. Fulham today on the hunt to get back to winning ways. But for Tottenham Hotspur, they know that Champions League football is in their own hands. And now Brennan Johnson. A chance for Pereira. He has options ahead of him, and Muniz is there. It's Muniz and Pereira. Oh. Wow. Well, early opportunity for the home side. Yeah, careless ball actually from James Madison here. Tries to flick that one round the corner. Alex Iwobi picks it off. Pereira's got plenty of space, and he just finds Muniz. Takes a little, I think, a little too long in assessing that one. And Johnson. Down. It was good work there from Lukic and oh, Wobi looking to fire it across. It's Pereira. Great block by Romero. Willian. Robinson. And fire it through again and Iwobi. Across there, and Sasha Lukic, who was able to test the Spurs goalkeeper Vicario. Well, some brilliant chances for Fulham to try and get ahead in this game. Yeah, really good stuff. Nice work from Alex Iwobi. It comes back out to Andreas Pereira. What a block that is. Romero, that's terrific defending. Throws himself in front of that to ensure that nothing more happens. Fulham did try and keep it alive eventually. Came back in the box, and that strike is well handled by Vicario. Here is Robinson. Still going, Robinson. Looks to cut it back, and Muniz oh. missed it. Wow. What a chance. How did he miss that? Fulham with one of the best opportunities to try and get ahead in this game. And now it's Son. Out to Madison. It's Son! <laughs> who fires it into the stands, well, from one end to the other, two brilliant chances. Well, they certainly were. Game's just opened up the last three or four minutes. It's just gone from end to end. And Anthony Robinson did so well with that cross, and it just looked like Muniz only had to make contact. Then this happened, they went straight down the other end, Spurs. Madison with that cut back to Son, and that one with the big side foot is always rising and heading over the top. But moments before that, Watch Muniz right on the edge of the six-yard line. I mean, oh, any sort of contact there, he scores. It's come at him pretty quick, but... Now Castagna. Going to try and get away from Brennan Johnson, and both of them pulling out, but Doggy takes over. Cross to Madison! Just wide. Oh. Centimetres away. Yeah, if it's on target, I don't think Bern Leno saves it because he hits it so early. Really good play from Udogi, who pinches that ball off Castagna, and then it's just about, can I find a teammate in a good spot? He does exactly that. James Madison kind of takes a nice touch and then all in one movement hits it. Anthony Robinson. Trying to create something, and here's Rodrigo Mini! And Fulham 
find a breakthrough first. And of course, it's Rodrigo Muniz. He can't stop scoring for Fulham, and he's done it again. That is a brilliant goal. That first touch was tremendous, and the finish just exquisite. And again, Anthony Robinson in that left back position runs off Kulazewski and he sees Muniz just peeling off the back of Dragushin and just thinks I'm going to curl that into an area and hope it's good enough and it's absolutely on the money the first touch is just brilliant and the finish is one of an accomplished Premier League striker never mind a young man who's still finding his way that is a brilliant brilliant goal it's his sixth goal in his last seven Premier League appearances, Rodrigo Muniz. Coming up just when it mattered for Fulham. It's just a little bit too big for Kulusevski at the, at the back post. Now Sasha Lukic. Mike Siwobi. And to that far side, and they got a touch! Lukic, the right place at the right time, and what a start to the second half. Well, they've started better than Spurs in the second period. A couple of times already, we've seen they've had a man over and a cross delivered into a dangerous area. Vicario got his hands on one literally 90 seconds ago, but he can't stop this one. Too much room in the middle of the park, first and foremost, for Sasha Lukic there. And then again, that lovely overlap. Castagna making a great run, terrific ball in, and it's just a glance from Lukic to send it flying past Vicario. Difficult one for the goalie. I think he might have even come off his thigh or get a better angle of it here. There you go. It doesn't matter what it comes off, he doesn't care. He's running away, he's celebrating. And Fulham have daylight now between them and Tottenham off the inside of the thigh. And over and and forward in their numbers and here is Iwobi looking to try and play it in here and a cross and again the feet of Vicario saved it I think he'd have got himself a penalty Castagna with that challenge from Pesuma he was there and knocked it over and a chance this time for Bassi and right in front of goal it's found his way in Well, it was a scramble in front of goal, and Tottenham couldn't clear it away. And Fulham have a third. I think the final touch might have come off Rodrigo Muniz. Yeah, who gets a whack on the side of his knee for his troubles, but you know what, once they get him back up on his feet and he gets that moving, he'll be delighted that he's got himself another goal. Soon goal scorer, number 19, Rodrigo Muniz! Yeah. Now the smile appears. Great. Terrific night for him. Really is. And again, Spurs out, swinging corner. Got to make sure you make first contact. They don't. It's a really good header. Calvin Bassi does brilliant to hit that and spin it back round. And Muniz is just in the right position. Vicario has scrambled towards that right-hand post, the near post. And then Muniz, look, just there, just... Just on the move, perhaps a fraction quicker than Dragushin. He's able to get there and apply that finishing touch. A chance now for Raul Jimenez to maybe come and get one. Here is Tossin. Has it across and it could be four, it is! How about this for Fulham? Incredible! And João Pelinha causes more pain for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, they've given his offside, so the celebrations will be halted for now. Yeah, they're obviously going to check this. Flag is up. Whether or not it was traffic right in front of the goalkeeper. Certainly, João Paulinho, the strike was decent. Let's have a look. And you can see Alex Iwobi in a standing, I think, uh, Calvin Bassi in an offside position. Right there now, yeah. Still Kulusevski finds Brennan Johnson who fires it across and 
What a chance to Timo Werner. Oh, another one. I mean, he's certainly come across at a serious rate of knots for Timo Werner, and he hasn't been on very long, I know, but again, just stick the bottom of your boot on this, and it ends up in the net. Oh, he's gone with his side foot. Watch, he just tries to side foot that one, and he might have thought that Leno was going to put a touch on it, but... Bentancur. Now Timo Werner. Leno across and stopped by Leno. Well, they are growing into it now, Tottenham. Yep, it's a good play from Werner. He's exceptionally fast. Over looking for Kulusevski, who heads it back in there's Richarlison. Who strike just wide. Chance, big chance, must hit the target. Good ball from Hoybier. Kulusevski at the far post, just drops that down really invitingly. It's Jimenez, looking to release the pass here to Wilson. It's Wilson! Stretch save there by Vicario. Great run, Harry Wilson. And I don't think Ange Postacog would be too happy with Udogi pulling out of challenges like that. It's Timo Werner. Still Timo Werner, and he fires it into the stands. A huge victory for Fulham, who returned to winning ways in the Premier League. And could a late charge for European football be on for Fulham? Well, the opening goal scored by Rodrigo Muniz. And it was a perfect start to the second half as well, as Sasha Lukic was on target to make it 2-0. The third foul for Rodrigo Muniz again, who has had an outstanding season so far for Fulham. But that caused pain for Tottenham Hotspur in their hopes to finish in the top four in the Premier League. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.